Welcome to our audio Advent calendar, another peace cast, 25 days from 1st December to Christmas Day, and we offer you 25 reflections on Advent, this season, our lives and memories, our faith and our hopes. My favorite Advent story is when Mary is visit visited by the angel and says yes to God. No one knows what lies ahead when we say yes to God. And my prayer is, here I am, God. In this season of waiting and wondering, I open myself to you. Let us share our strengths as we embrace each day in Advent. Amen. Mary of Nazareth, if you remember, is called by God to bear a child. Mary, who had not known the touch of a man who asked, was asked to give birth. Often persons interpreted Mary's response to the angel Gabriel's invitation as unquestioning obedience, humility and passivity. Yet when we listen closely, we can hear the voice of a strong, active woman. She considers, she questions and she speaks. Let it be. The words sound like whispers to ears that have always heard them as inevitable, as the only possible response. But if we draw cl closer, if we listen to the human being who bore divinity out of her own earthly everyday life, what will we hear? Mary's story begins with the greeting of an angel. Peace be with you, the angel says to her. And then he tells her that God will share strength with Mary and that the very name Yahweh is a promise of strength and assurance. It means I stand by your side with all I have and all I am. You will always be able to count on me. To many of us, reading or hearing the story of Mary is like reading or hearing a story of which we already know the ending. We know that Joseph is not going to abandon her. We know everything is going to be all right. Therefore, we might find it new and challenging to imagine what incredible courage this young woman showed who said what she said. May it happen to me as you have said. Can we imagine the story as if we didn't know the ending? Whether or not we ever experience physical pregnancy, God calls us to give birth to the holy in our lives. Therefore, we are sisters and brothers of Mary and share in her sacred creativity. Like Mary, God invites us to be co-creators as we continually seek to bring Christ into the world. God invites us all to be God-bearers to reveal God's love and grace, to embody God to the world. God invites us in Advent. And like Mary, we choose. The call to bear Christ in us does not ask for passive acceptance. The call does not demand conformity or unquestioning submission. Because, as Mary discovered, Agreeing to bear the Christ often requires stepping outside given boundaries and asking, how can this be? In the shadows of Mary's ascent to let it be, lies the possibility that she, or we, can choose to let it not be. God leaves the choosing to us.